There's a shortage of 150 homes in the city of John Day. It's in the eastern part of Oregon, about five hours from Portland. You know, prior to, eight, to 2018, we were doing one home every three years uh, citywide. Uh, which is a scary low number. A solution is on the way this spring, 3D home printing technology. The city is working with a company called Alquist, which owns the machines. The first homes using this technology were printed in Virginia last year. You, pro you pre-program the print based on your architectural design, and then uh, essentially a robot comes in on a on a crane structure, it's set up and it runs in a grid and prints one layer after the next until you've assembled the exterior and interior walls of the home. Green says they've started the land development for the site where the printed homes will be built on the south side of the John Day River. Veterans will have first priority for the two bedroom homes with a target rent rate of $700 a month. With the new printer technology that's coming out, you're not constrained to squares and rectangles. You can add curvature, you can print in multiple directions. Um, you could potentially even print the roofs, in which case you'd have a complete shell. The technology prints the walls of the house using a concrete mix. The CEO of Alquist says it's an affordable way to build. It's a 3D concrete printed home versus a stick built home, you're going to have savings somewhere in the ballpark of 10 to 15 percent. Now, over the next 24 months, we know that's going to increase to close to 30 percent. And those numbers will keep going up when we're doing multiple homes at once. Russell Comer is with Mahogany Ridge Development. They'll be developing the 3D homes. With printers cutting down on work, it's expected to help with a labor shortage. As far as your wall framing, insulating, um, you know, those types of things, all that's covered by the 3D printer itself. And so, you know, it does it in a, in a very efficient time frame. And then, you know, you've, you've got a, you know, few less bodies in there working on it as well at the same time. So. So Alquist owns two of these printers and they're quite an investment. They range in price from 300,000 to a million dollars. And the finished houses will also vary in price because the city plans to build cottages, duplexes and triplexes. Bryant Clerkley, KGW News.